Anything else you need going on? Should I bring Gukyo? I'm going to go just for a quick little pee up front. All right, so I recommend coriander, avocado. There's salsa floating around somewhere. Can you just want some? Yeah. Just spoon and spoon. I can wait for people to get here and start eating. When did you become a vegan mom? Oh, I'm must be about three years ago, I think, that uh, we celebrated our seventh year of being vegetarians this past Thanksgiving. Hmm. So it's been seven years that we've been full-on vegetarians, and then I think it's been about three years. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, it's about three years. And it was a natural evolution from being a full-on vegetarian to veganism. It, it happened gradually. It wasn't something that happened overnight. I think that the major thing, event that happened that pushed us to really try becoming a full-on vegetarian was about seven, well I guess it was right around the time that, that we became seven years ago, for economic reasons, that uh, your dad's hours were cut at work, and um, I'll go into the details, but my my government pay was also cut because I had to pay back a whole pile of my pension. So all of a sudden we were faced with a, a greatly reduced family budget to buy food. So we were noticing that we were giving all the meat to you guys because we had to make choices. And then until your dad and I had a conversation and said, okay, do you want to try this for real? And if we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly. So that was Thanksgiving seven years ago. <laughs> do the math. Okay, so that would be 2011. Um, well, personally, it was a pretty independent decision. Um, I was actually, like, I made my own dietary changes before uh, mom and dad became vegetarians or vegans. Um, so I had already sort of made that shift. I would say I definitely eat a lot more vegan food now. Mm -hmm. However, uh, since they've become vegans, just because like the recipe books they buy me are mostly vegan recipe books. Um, and just like, you know, when I come here, I eat the vegan food. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would agree with that. I think it was like a mostly independent choice. Um, like the fact that they are vegetarian right off the bat made it a lot easier for me mm -hmm. to go vegan just because like I already I didn't have to cook my own like individual meals like they were very accommodating and um, yeah I still think if you know I if my parents weren't vegetarian or vegan I, I at this point in my life would probably still be vegan I imagine mm -hmm. so um, I would okay then I guess neither of you you, you don't think in the future you're gonna give up meat no i just don't like i think there's other alternatives mm -hmm. like i mean it's, if you don't like because like of the suffering or whatever like yeah. you know there's like the there's options for literally everything i think like, the way i see it is you can get around pretty much every single issue there is with meat that people are against so but then okay the reason that you eat meat is just because it tastes good like it's, it's convenient on um, mostly mostly the convenience. Yeah. yeah. So you, there's like so many like fast foods. I just I I just don't want to limit myself honestly. Yeah. When you cook meat for the non vegans or the non vegetarians in the family, do you have like a kind of disgust? Like do you do you not like cooking it for them? I hate it. Hate it. Then why why do you why do you do it? Because I have lazy boys who rely on mother who has coddled them to do the cooking for them, even though they both work in restaurants. They both work in kitchens and restaurants. They know how to cook. But I guess, you know, the comfort of home and, you know, mom will do it. So mom ends up doing it. So. The worst is making the hamburger patties. If we're making them from scratch, usually we'll buy them frozen for the boys. But sometimes if the ground beef is really cheap, we'll buy the ground beef. And I have to mash that up in our bare hands and make the hamburger. It's hamburgers out of it. Oh. Not pleasant. Well, the weird thing for me is that, you know, me and my boyfriend live together. He still eats meat. I don't prepare any of the meat for him, though. 
because I'm a vegetarian and if I'm doing the cooking, it's going to be food that I could eat. So I guess personally it does seem a little strange that mom and dad who don't eat meat at all and don't even like consume any animal products still end up preparing meat for some of the like non-meat eaters. But then again, like that's their decision if they want to do that. I know sometimes for, for Christmas and for holiday dinners and stuff, they will make meat to like accommodate like, you know, you, Seamus, and Martin, um, just so you have something nice to eat, which I guess is, is the nice thing to do. But I do find it a little strange. Yeah. I kind of feel like it's, you know, family is all about compromising. Mm -hmm. So I don't, like, would it really be fair to kind of, like, push this sort of lifestyle on them, like, just to, like, play devil's advocate? I don't know. Like, yeah. I personally, I think it's, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. I understand the reasons behind it, but... Like, I think just the fact that, like, as a family, we put the effort in to, you know, have, you know, at least a couple of us be vegan, um, and that we're buying a lot less meat since mm -hmm. then, and I think that's what matters, and, you know, I almost feel bad for the meat eaters in our family that they, you know, they're surviving off of, like, pogos. Burnt yeah, pogos. burnt pogos. <laughs> When we're here, like having like wonderful fresh food, but yes, they're lost. Um, one annoying thing is not having like the cheese. Whenever I go into the cupboard, I'm not covered with the, the fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like before and they cheese. were like vegetarians. Like they would always like cook like good meat, like like pretty good quality meat. But like now we just have like processed like frozen pizzas. Yeah. And uh, like that's pretty much what you eat. Like frozen pizzas, like pogos, like mm -hmm. just really like trash process me yeah yeah so but then like do you think that it should be mom and dad's responsibility though to like cook good meat for you like isn't that kind of unfair like the way i see it is that uh, like if they decide to give up meat then shouldn't we like respect the decision and, and like deal with it ourselves like our own well that's what we're doing like we're not yeah. forced we're not telling no them i know i agree but maybe <laughs> we're not forcing them to buy the processing if we're gonna force them we get them to get good meat and <laughs> Do you hope that your non-vegan kids will become vegetarian? Is that something you, you hope would happen? It's up to them. You know, do I hope it? It's not a major aspiration. I just want to get them out of school and get them out of the house first. <laughs> well, I think for the safe, sake of the animals, uh, I wish the whole world would. It's better for the environment and it's better for the animals. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm absolutely... I would. Uh, you know, you don't have to go 100% vegetarian, but the less meat, the better. No, I mean, I I really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me what you guys eat or like what other people in my like surroundings eat. So no, I don't I don't mind. <laughs> it's kind of like a fine line I find that you have to cross. That like part of me, like if I'm being brutally honest right now, like part of me does want to just be like. You guys are kind of being hypocrites, like, if you, you know, believe in animal welfare and you care about the environment and everything, like, why aren't you making this change when it's, like, it's been relatively easy for me, but then also at the same time, to Christine's point, it's, like, it's your life. I'm not going to tell anyone what they should or shouldn't be doing. So, um, yeah, I would, like, encourage it if it was something mm -hmm. that they, they came to me and wanted more information I'd be super excited about, but... I don't think, like, it's never been a thing that I, I tell them, you have to do this, or, like, why aren't you doing this? It's just, it, it doesn't really match their personality, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> For me, the problem that I have is that, like, I actually consider, like, I feel guilty about, like, animals dying, you know? And I think that's partially because, like, we're surrounded by people that have been able to cut me out completely from their lives, and they've done it, like, in a way that, it seems very doable, but then why aren't I like taking action and cutting it out from my diet when I see all these examples of people doing it and it looks easy for them? Oh, I don't feel guilty. <laughs> I mean, like things, things gotta die. Like that's literally. But it's, no, no, it's, it's like yeah. it's the fact that like an animal died. It's yeah. like that happens. So, like <laughs> yeah, it's, really it's, been, it's been happening. You. Like it's it's, literally... it's been happening for. Since like the beginning. Yeah, no, and I, it's like a appeal to tradition, but like I just just still, my oh gosh, is yeah. And it's sad because like cows actually seem like fairly social, like yeah, it's yeah, sad. it's like yeah, they seem like nice animals, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 
important factor for us too was the treatment of the animals. I think, for, well, for me especially, and maybe for Jane as well, that uh, it's hard to square the circle that you love animals, dogs and birds and every, all the wild animals outside, and yet you come into your kitchen and you eat them. It's, I know they're different breeds, but for us, an animal's an animal. And, we wouldn't, uh, we were no longer comfortable uh, with that equation. So that yeah. was another reason why vegetarianism was big for us.